Hello everyone, it's Tech TV Media with another video tutorial, and today we're going to be showing you how you can add VST effects to Sony Vegas. Now note, this doesn't necessarily have to apply to Sony Vegas, basically we're just showing you how you can get VST effects on pretty much any audio processor or editor in your system. So the first thing you need to do is go over to the Options tab on the top of your um, Sony Vegas project, and you're going to go down and click Preferences. Now once you get to this Preferences box, you're going to go ahead and try to find VST Effects tab, which happens to be right here, but it can differ depending on your computer. So here, you're going to specify your VST folder, all you have to do is click Browse, and this little thing will pop up. Now, but by default, most computers have their VST folder and the C drive, then you're going to go down to Program Files 86, and then you're going to find, go down and you're going to try to find VST Effects. Let's see, oh, so here it is VST plugins, and then you're just going to click OK, and it's going to refresh, and it's going to add some VST effects. Now this may take a moment, as you can see it's loading all of them, and here are my VST effects that I can add by just clicking apply, then OK, and once I add a video track, I mean audio track, click on this little icon right here. Now I can go right here, I can go to the VST find all my VST plugins right there. You can get VST plugins by going over to your internet browser and going to your search engine. Here you can find VST plugins by simply typing in VST plugins. You're going to find many websites that have great VST plugins to offer for all your audio editing systems. Then you can just click on any simple website. You can download their VST, such as VST effects. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to add maybe a um, a reverb. I can download it by clicking on the download button. I'm just going to save it. I'm just going to extract that by going over to the specification, extract files, click OK. This thing will pop up, and what you're going to have to do is you're going to go to your VST plugins folder again. Program files 86, and go down to VST effects or plugins. And here, all you have to do is click on the VST plugin that you've downloaded, and simply just drag and drop. You're going to need administrator permission to do this. Now once you're done, you have now successfully added that VST plugin, so any processor or editor that accepts VSTs will now have that. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our next video tutorial on our channel.